Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day. And today, I am doing the Jeffree Star Chrome Collection for you. So, I have the You Better Work 7 All of the Liquid Lipstick Bundle. I have both skin frosts for you and a new lip scrub. So, let's get into this video. Rhythm is a dancer, it's a soul's companion. People feel it everywhere. Lift your hands and voices. Alright guys, so I'm super excited to be filming this today. I just received it about an hour ago. And you guys kept sending me Instagram messages and comments on all my videos about am I getting this collection. So yes, here it is. I'm super excited. All the packaging is pink chrome. It's so beautiful. Like this packaging. Let's go ahead and give a little reveal. Ah. So pretty. So we have seven liquid lipsticks, two skin frosts, a lip scrub here. There are three lip scrubs all together. I just picked up one that I thought I would use a lot. The two uh, highlighters we have here are Crystal Ball, which is a silver, and then we have Summer Snow Cone, which is like a hot yellow. Super exciting, really fun. I've never heard like a yellow, yellow highlighter before, so I'm excited about that one. I'm also going to be comparing Crystal Ball to Ice Cold and Eclipse from Jeffree Star, and I'm going to be comparing Summer Snow Cone to two gold Jeffree Star highlighters. So we're going to start off with the highlighters we're going to go ahead and go to Crystal Ball because uh, so many people sent me like requests to put this next to Ice Cold so we're going to do that today. I haven't opened any of this up yet so Ooh, look how metallic and beautiful. Packaging is gorgeous. There's like a couple smudges on my container for some reason but that's okay. Um, it says Crystal Ball on the back and let's Oh, this container feels more secure than the rest of his. There is Crystal Ball. Now right off hand, it just looks white to me. It looks like a little silver, but it's white. Let's go ahead and finger swatch it. Ooh. Arm swatched. Now not as blinding as ice cold, honestly. If I add a little more to the swatch, it looks a little chunky right off hand. It looks a little chunky. Ooh, pretty though. Like, I think that's gonna look great on my pale ass skin tone. We're gonna put ice cold next to this nail. Ice cold on mine has been <laughs> very well loved. Um, and I wear it every single day almost. So, oh shit. That's pretty damn close, you guys. So on the top we have Crystal Ball, and on the bottom we have Ice Cold. Now from this lighting, you're probably not going to tell the difference. Looking at them, I can definitely tell Ice Cold looks a little more shimmery silver, and then, no, Crystal Ball seems a little more shimmery silver, and then Ice Cold seems a little more yellow, but it's like drastically similar to each other. So I'm going to wipe this off my arm and then we're going to do a cheek swatch. Okay guys, so I have a little Morphe fan brush here and we're going to swatch Crystal Ball. Now I'm going to put a separate video later on this week comparing Crystal Ball to Ice Cold and Eclipse. More in depth, but this is just for the whole review. So let's put it on a little brush. I really feel like his highlighters, you don't need to swirl when you're first breaking into the highlighter. I think you need to go ahead and dig in one spot because it does really let it, you know, the first layer supposed to protect it. But so far so good with this highlighter. It's really cute. It is more of a silver. Now on hand swatches, it looks so similar to ice cold. But on my face, I feel like it has a totally different vibe. Like it has a silver vibe. This is not what Ice Cold looks on me. Like, at least not in person. Yeah, here's Crystal Ball. I'm gonna save the other cheek for Summer Snow Cone. So pretty. Okay, so next we're gonna use the other one, Summer Snow Cone. I'm super excited. This one's so funky looking that, like, I'm excited to see what it looks like on my face. I try not to watch any Jeffree Star reviews other than his like first unveiling 
until I test it for myself. So here is Summer Snow Cone. So yellow. Like this is way more yellow than I actually thought it'd be in person. I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. Um, yeah, let's give her a swatch. Ooh. Very pretty. I would love this as an eyeshadow. Can you tell it's yellow? Okay. But, honestly, I really think I'm going to dig this because it's so weird. Let's put it on a little Morphe 501. This is the one in that video that kept breaking apart. But I'm still going to get some use out of it, I think. So... I don't really know what I'm expecting right now. Oh, it's really yellow. Do you see that? Did you see that big old hair out of this brush? I'm gonna leave a link to my Morphe video down below because that was such a terrible, terrible experience. Okay guys, this is Summer Snow Cone. If you can actually see it, I can't tell my viewfinder. It's so yellow, but I don't hate it. Like, I'm super pale, so certain colors show up so strange on me, but like, it's kind of life. Like, I think I want to build crystal ball on the top of Snow Cone, so Summer Snow Cone, and then see what it looks like together. Okay, together it's a little much. It's a little powdery looking together, but. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna dull this weird powder mess down. And let's move on to liquid lips. Okay, so I love wearing black when I do swatch videos because you can wear any color with it, but I always end up getting powder all over myself. Now, let's move on to the liquid lipsticks. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put on a lip lip balm because we're going to lip swatch all of these. <sighs> and you guys know what I endure for you. If you saw my 37 Jeffree Star lip swatches, um, that video will be linked down below, but I lip swatched 37 Jeffree Star lipsticks and uh, that was a mess. And then after that, I lip swatched nine, or I cheek swatched nine Jeffree Star highlighters. And then I ate a spoonful of Jeffree Star lip scrub. <laughs> So I think I'm going to do this in order. We're going to start off with this one, which is Butt Naked, which is my, like, I was almost just as excited for this one as I was You Better Work, because it looks like a gorgeous nude. We're going to find out. You can actually see, oh, you can actually see up here the colors peeking through, like, the tops of them, which is kind of cool. So, this is Butt Naked. It is a nice, pretty nude color. Let's see what the tubes look like. This packaging is everything, y'all. So, this is Button Naked. Let's go ahead and give it a lip swatch. Okay guys, so this is Butt Naked. My sunlight in this room is terrible today. Anyways, I really like this color. I think it's a kind of orange creamsicle nude for me. It's definitely wearable, but it is a little orangey pink. Now, if you have a darker skin tone, not sure if this color is going to work because it is very fair. It's definitely a drier formula than Jeffree Star's regular lipsticks, which I'm fine with because it's going to be matte anyways. But it did take two dips in instead of one, which is a little unusual, but every color is different. So, let's move on to the next shade. Okay guys, so this next shade is called Calabasas. Now this is of course where Jeffree lives. It looks to be a mauve red color. So... Ooh, yes. Now, I'm all about a pink or a red lipstick, so... Well, not necessarily red. I don't do a straight red. 
but this is Calabasas. Let's put it on my lips, and I know you guys can see this, but as always, I don't use a lip liner when using Jeffree Star lipsticks, so that you guys can see the true color of it. Okay guys, so this is Calabasas. It's definitely pretty. I love it so far. Now, this is another one that seems to be drying down before I even put it on my mouth. Not a complaint at all. I love that it gets dry down faster now. It looks so pretty. I compare it, I would compare it to a mix of I'm Shook with the Manny and May collaboration and Rose Matter. Somewhere in between there. It's so pretty and so not in your face, which I love because a little subtle now let's move on to the next color okay guys so this next one is definitely the weirdest this is Venus flytrap it is a lime green kind of intimidating color to me I'm all about a weird lipstick but this is just like the yellow one it's just crazy weird ever seen anything lime lipstick before so um, let's give it a shot and maybe it's really dope. Let's put it on the mouth. Okay guys, so this is Venus Flytrap. It's so weird. <laughs> um, it definitely is more streaky than the other ones, but as he often says, weird colors take a little more finessing into the lips because they are so weird and hard to formulate. But overall, it's pretty pigmented. Um, it's just a little streaky. Just try to work it into the skin if you need to. This is mostly going to be used for cool, aesthetically pleasing makeup, funky eyeliner, um, special effects makeup cosplays things like that I would definitely use as a cool wing or maybe a funky colored brow for a costume maybe but not for every day it's pretty freaking weird and I feel like everybody's looking at my mouth the whole time I'm talking I'm not really sure that's what I want no eye contact will be made with this lipstick anyways let's move on to the next more normal color Okay guys, so this next color is the darkest one of the collection, and it is Family Jewels. Now this one looks really like a gorgeous, dark, deep color, and it looks like this. Now this probably is not dark on everybody, but again, super pale. So, let's lip swatch it. Okay guys, so here is Family Jewels. This is definitely not a summer color to me. For this being the summer collection, I don't really think this is fitting. But it's definitely like a warm chocolate color, but it's more warm than chocolate. Uh, it's like a mix of... Dominatrix plus... Masochus, maybe? Or Leo? It's closer to Leo, I think, in the Jeffree Star lip range. I'm definitely going to do future videos where I swatch these. <laughs> swatch these next to already existing Jeffree Star lipsticks so you can see how different they are. If you want to see that video, give me a thumbs up on it. If I get 200 likes, I will do all that for you. And yeah, this is Family Jewels. Let's move on to the next color we have for left. Okay guys, so part of me just realized that I've been saying that there's seven liquid lipsticks the whole time, and there are eight, so I'm sorry. <laughs> the next color we have here is Hunting, definitely a drag term, and 
speaking of drag, can we just say congrat congratulations to Sasha Velour? Super excited to see her win. She's fabulous and her style is amazing. I was team pheromone, but uh, I appreciate Sasha as well. So this is Hunty. It looks like a tan paint color nude. Um, that's what reminds me of right hand, it's like a weird paint color. But let's swatch it and see how it looks on the mouth. Okay guys, so this is Hunty. It's like a camel orangey nude color. It's like a suede, uh, I don't know how to compare it to anything. Color. Oh, it kind of reminds me of my mirror. Look at the color of my mouth right now. Or my beauty blender. It's like a dark, suede tanny, nudie color. I'll leave a description right here of what Jeffrey says it's called because for me, the word camel and the word tan is the only thing that's coming to mind to describe this color. I like it. I don't like it as much as I like butt naked, which comparing to each other, they don't look like crazy different. I would definitely wear it with like a smoky brown eye, I think, but not all the time for me. So let's move on. We have three more shades. Okay guys, so this is the color you guys kept telling me about as soon as this video came out revealing the colors, I was like tagging me on it like, this is your color on Instagram on and on YouTube. So You Better Work is the name of the shade. Of course, I love my purple. So this is kind of me in a container right now. Pretty close. So let's lip swatch this one. I have a feeling I'm going to love it. on. Oh shit. You guys, I just realized this little part right here is pink on all these. It's pink on this one too. I didn't, know, I didn't notice that before. It's not usually like that. Okay. We're, we're going to do this now. You guys, there's something going on with this color. This is You Better Work. <sighs> so this one smells like paint. I just smelled Calabasas and it smells like the regular formula. Like this one smells fine, it smells like his regular stuff. It smells about naked. This one smells fine too. This one smells bad and it smells like paint to me. And when I put it on my mouth, it's very dry. Like, it's been shaken up. I know there's product on the brush. But it just... It's very dry in texture. And I don't understand why. It's kind of hard to move along the lips. It's very dry feeling, and I really thought I was going to love this one. The color is pretty. It's a little streaky. Um, just gonna be completely honest, it's a little streaky. I hate it. I don't hate it. I don't love it either. Um, it's very dry. Just even applying it, you can't move it around. It's so dry on the container, on the applicator, and I don't understand why. I'm gonna have to watch some reviews on this collection afterwards, see if anybody else has this issue. Um, but for me, this is no. It reminds me of a fake Jeffree Star lipstick, it's that bad. Okay guys, so the next color we have here is Flamboyant. I'm hopeful that was the only dud of the collection for me. So this is Flamboyant. It's like a beautiful pink. It looks like it has some shimmer in it. And um, let's give this one a lip swatch because hopefully it'll be a little better than the last one. Wait, okay. That. There we go. It's finally a color I can actually move on my mouth. Can you smell? Okay. 
Okay guys, so this is flamboyant and I'm so happy. It has a beautiful metallic shimmer to it. It's smooth on the lips. It smells fucking amazing. It smells so good, you guys. Like, I wish the smell did not go away on the mouth. It's so pretty of a color. It smells good. It's so easy to move. It's such a drastic change from this one. Oh, I think this is my favorite so far, even though I really like Buck Naked. It's already matte and it's so shimmery and metallic-y still and I don't want to take it off. I think it's a perfect everyday color. You put pair this with the Sweet Peach palette for by Too Faced. You have a total look going on. So let's move on to the last color which is Candy Ass. Okay guys, so this is the last color. This is Candy Ass and it is actually Jeffree Star's makeup artist's favorite color from the collection. So this is Candy Ass. We're going to lip swatch it and hope for the best because that last one was fabulous. Okay guys, so this is the last color and this is Candy Ass. This one's beautiful too. Now I definitely think you need to lip line your lips with any metallic lipstick. I say that every time. And with this one especially because it is fair, you definitely need to outline your lips with a little lip liner beforehand. But I love it. I think it's really pretty. It's a really nice formula. It's not completely matte yet, but it, you can definitely tell it's drying down. It still looks beautiful, metallic and shimmery. It is not completely opaque. I can definitely still see my lips through it, but I think if you wear a darker lipstick underneath or you just layer it twice, it should be gorgeous. So this is Candy Ass. Now we're done with the liquid lipsticks. We're going to talk about the last item I have here, which is a lip scrub. I'm not going to be eating this by the spoonful today, <laughs> um, but we are going to talk about it. Ooh, I could smell it as soon as I opened the box. So I decided to get watermelon gum because I never got the strawberry gum, which was Jeffrey's bestseller. Ooh, it's so pretty. So with this one, it definitely smells like Hubba Bubba. <laughs> it smells like watermelon Hubba Bubba gum. Like the green one with the pink in the middle. Let's just tuck a little. It tastes fine. I'm not gonna eat it like by the spoonful because that was a terrible experience. I'll never live down. But yeah, it's kind of yummy. Smells great. I like this smell better than this metallic lipstick smell. But the metallic lipstick smells so good. So flamboyant and candy ass have a scent infused. You would think it would mess up with the formula. Well, this is a tiny bit sticky. Not terrible though. But it's such a good formula for both metallics. I love it. I definitely need to pair this with something to wear it on its own because it is not my standard of opacity. Let's just say that. I love the collection of lipsticks as a whole except this one. The whole bundle price for all the liquid lipsticks is $105, but they're normally $18 a piece. So math because I can't do it off the top of my head. Um, I love all the lipsticks except for this one, obviously. I don't really know where I'm going to wear Hunty. I think I'll do a makeup tutorial and find a look that I really like with it. Um, you guys can let me know what you think of each color down below. This will be really fun for eyeliners and stuff like that. I love both skin frosts. Both skin frosts are perfect. I love Crystal Ball. And I love the effect that um, Summer Snow Cone has. But I think I'm personally going to use it as a base highlight, blend another one on top of it, and then use it for an eyeshadow as well. I think it's a great idea. Yellow is so in this year, and I'm like really feeling it. I was thinking about going yellow hair, but not sold yet. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more comparisons and everything like that, I'm going to leave some arm swatches of the highlighters against existing highlighters and all the lipsticks at the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoy. Have an awesome day wherever you are. 
and please subscribe. Please subscribe. Are you doing it? Okay. Okay. Bye. Your hands and voices free